Naidu led government calls Quantum Valley, a 50 acre deep tech ecosystem designed to make Andhra Pradesh the brain of India's next gen compute revolution. Microsoft's 1,772 crore rupees bet in Amravati says this, according to us. We believe it's real. We believe it's now. After Google announced its $15 billion AI hub in Vishakhapatnam, everyone thought that was the biggest technology headline Andhra Pradesh would ever see. But you know what? Microsoft just said, hold my qubit, because it's actually setting up a 1,772 crore rupees, which is approximately $212 million quantum computing facility in Amravati. A 1,200 qubit system equivalent to around, well, 50 logical qubits housed inside a 4,000 square meter building. This would be India's first true quantum powerhouse. And it's part of a bigger picture. What the Na Naidu-led government calls Quantum Valley, a 50-acre deep tech ecosystem designed to make Andhra Pradesh the brain of India's next-gen compute revolution. IBM's already signed up with, well, a 133-qubit system. Fujitsu's next with 64 qubits and a fabrication unit. And, of course, the homegrown QPI AI is adding its own machine at BIT University. Looks like, well, Andhra Pradesh is quietly building the AI plus quantum corridor of the decade. From Google's AI hub in Vizag to Microsoft's Quantum Valley in Amravati. Think of today's computers like, well, bicycles. Reliable, predictable, but limited by the road they run on. Quantum computers, on the other hand, are supersonic jets. They don't just actually move faster. They operate in a completely different dimension of physics. They can actually simulate molecules, discover new materials, design drugs, secure communications, and even model climate systems. Things classical computers can't even touch. And Microsoft is bringing its Majorana one quantum chip built using topological qubits, a breakthrough that makes quantum machines far more stable and scalable than before. Unlike the error-prone systems most labs are testing, Microsoft's chip architecture could achieve useful, reliable quantum performance much sooner, not decades away, but actually years away. By setting up this 1200 qubit facility in Amravati, Microsoft is effectively building, well, an airport for those quantum jets, complete with global research and development, energy and education infrastructure. Very important. This is actually where tech giant meets state strategy, deep tech ambition. And it actually perfectly aligns with India's earlier quantum village vision. From Bengaluru's homegrown QPI AI and its Kaveri 64 chip to Andhra's quantum valley. The country is clearly moving from researching quantum to building quantum for the world. A few days ago, China announced that its first atomic quantum computer, Hanyuan No. 1, has gone commercial. The machine, developed in Wuhan, packs 100 qubits, operates at room temperature, and has already been sold to China Mobile and Pakistan, the first known export of a Chinese quantum system. It's a neutral atom-based computer, meaning it doesn't need cryogenic cooling like, well, superconducting systems. And it actually fits neatly into three racks. Built over 20 years of research, it's designed for industrial workloads like financial modeling, logistics, and materials design. While China races ahead with hardware that's compact and commercial, India's approach is different a distributed ecosystem of global partnerships and indigenous research and development. Under the 6,000 crore rupees national quantum vision, India's roadmap focuses on superconducting and photonic platforms. With players like QPI AI, IISC, TIFR and DRDO already building prototypes between 50 and 1,000 qubits. The question is, why this matters for India? And here's why. India has already shown its quantum intent. Full first stack quantum computer with Bengaluru's QPI AI. 
64 qubit Kaveri chip launching. This was actually covered extensively on front page a few days back. I'm sure you remember. If you haven't seen it, please do check it out because there was some awesome research done by Amit Rajanayak. Now, of course, back to what Amravati says. We are not just a participant. We'll host the hardware, host the infrastructure, host the future. Of course, building quantum infrastructure at scale isn't easy as we all know. It requires power, cooling, precision, chip supply, clean rooms and extreme materials. And India must navigate global supply chains, talent flows, hard science. But by anchoring global giants like Microsoft, Fujitsu, IBM, here in Andhra Pradesh actually is actually acting and is acting fast, which is fabulously encouraging. So finally, so is this just another tech promise or a quantum era leap? Microsoft's 1,772 crore rupees bet in Amravati says this according to us. We believe it's real. We believe it's now. Question is this, which I want to leave you with. Is Amravati becoming the world's next quantum hub or just the boldest bet of the deep tech era so far? Please do let us know what you think in the comments below.